How many of you believe that a beautiful girl like this is living in a place like this with her family? This family have been going through extreme difficulties for more than four years now, and not too many persons even know anything about it. This is where we are living, sir. Please come, let me show you. We have been living here for the past four years now, sir. Four years? Yes, sir. Look at our house. How many of you live here? We are ten, sir. Ten of you? Yes, sir. Wow. Is this your sister? Yes, sir. This is the, my sisters and my mother. I, who, who are these little kids? My, my, my sisters and brothers, too. Oh, boy. Wow. Are they sick? Yes, sir. You are very, very sick. Where's your mom? She's sitting down here. Look at her. Hello, ma. Good afternoon. afternoon How are you today? Fine, sir. Are you all love now they stay? Yes, sir. Wow, 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 wow. Please, sir, we need help. We need help. We Water is to enter the house very seriously. The up and down area is leaking very badly. Mosquito, everything, snake around everywhere. People kill snake a lot here. Yes, yes sir. Pussy oh, cat, everything. Water, when I rain for, cannot be able to stay here. Cold, everything. And you have been living like this for four years for now? For the past four years, sir. How old are you? 18 years. Okay, how long have you guys been living in this environment? In the past four years now. Wow, this is really sad. How many times a day do you guys eat? One time every day. Wow, you go hungry most nights? Yes. Have you ever felt the temptation to run away from this house? Yes, every time. You're always feeling that way? Yes. Do you bring your friends here? No. What do your friends think about you? They do not want to communicate with me as before, self. Even when I see them, they are only greeting. When I tell them that I let them come to my house, they say, which house? Do you have a house? So all those things, I know used to bring anyone to my side. So you never have a friend? I never have a friend because they know used to come and visit me. So I, I, just do, I just stay on my own. Early morning, I bath and go where I'm learning work to just stay. <sighs> this is sad. Um, do you pray to God? Yes, I do. Have you ever felt the temptation to do anything bad to survive? Yes, sir. You do feel the temptation? Yes, I feel the temptation. But what has been stopping you? It's God that has been stopping me. What is something you like to be in the future? If God gives you an opportunity to succeed, what is something you like to be? I would like to be an accountant. With the way things are for you, is it possible to become an accountant? No, not possible. The work that you are learning, is it by I like? Is, do you do you really like it, or you are just doing it to survive? I'm doing it to survive because as my parents look that he don't have money anymore to train me in school, so he say I should just go and learn that work. So even I not go to school again, I'll be using that one to survive. Yeah. Um, where do you stop in school? Just S three. Just S three. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm so so sorry. Um. Can I talk to your sister? Yes, sir. Look at her here. Yeah. Okay, hello. Can I talk to you? Come. It's, it's gonna be dark. So, where's your bathroom? We don't have a bathroom. We used to bathe outside here. Yeah. You used to bathe outside here? Yeah. Yes, sir. In daylight? Yes. What time do you wake up in the morning to bathe? Around 7 to bathe and go to work. We bathe here. Yeah. You mean you bathe here? Yeah. Bring the camera. Let us. Come and show me where exactly you beat. Yeah. What about people living here? Won't they see people? They used to see us, but we don't care because we don't have we have to beat now. So we just beat here and go inside and dress and go out. Yes, to look at you people. Yes, sir. Wow, this is sad. What about I mean look at the place people are living. What about snakes, rodents? Like what are the kinds of dangers that you're exposed to living in a place like this? So last week, um, Saturday, my dad killed one big snake inside our house. We used to see snake, even pussycat, crocrush, 
many kind of animals they used to live with us in the night they used to come around this place to hunt us but i just know only god i used to say, help us out in this place was life always like this for people life was not like this what happened i don't know i don't know i just was staying at was we are living in bacha to at that salvation ministry site that they just salvation ministry just by that company was living there before so the landlord now that said let us go out and my father don't have anywhere to run go even in and my father is the person that you know used to carry his problem to tell people around so even the elder oneself he not tell anybody we are just living here in the past four years suffering everybody other money in ourselves he just clothes that used to cover body if not what is happening to everybody here yeah, is only god so my other brothers the other ones they are doing ps only me that i went to my father say as i'm the last born in all of them that let me less money and i'm a woman let me not go and do no sense so i'm learning tailoring my other brothers they are doing ps at erico side my other sister and my mother we are not doing anything we are just in the house Try God, what kind of life is this? Who owns this child? This is my sister's child. How many children does your sister have? She has four children, two girls, three girls and one boy. Oh God, and ten of you are living in this place? Yes, sir. No help at all? No help for months and nights, only ever, one time a day. That's what we are eating. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, have you people tried to get help from anybody at all? Yes, we have tried to get help. One of I don't know, she have got one of my uncle them once once they came here when my sister was about came to do knocking of door. What is knocking of door? Introduction. Yes, introduction. Marriage introduction. Yes, that he's the one that wants to marry them, marry her. That is when they come and they see that this place is not good for us. They don't even say anything. They just come and drink the pami and the drink the man came with and left. God of Nazareth, this is sad. Can I speak to your sister? Please come. How have you guys been coping in this kind of environment, especially with your four children? What is actually wrong with these children? They are not looking healthy. They are not feeling fine. Right when I bought them because of the environment. The environment is not conducive for them. What about your husband? My husband used to come and go. Why did you come here with your children? Why didn't you stay with your husband? I came here because I get back to this one, so I cannot stay there only me. I need someone to assist me. But things are not so good over there. Yeah. Hey God of Nazareth. Do you pray to God? Yes. Do you pray every morning? Yes. Hmm. We'll have to see how we can help those people. Okay, this is River State Port Harcourt. And uh, we'll just have to contact this Omega Power Ministry um, General of Asia because, I mean, this man, it's people like this that he likes to bring close to himself. I, I mean, there are so many pastors in Nigeria, but there's only one person that I can think of. I know, know that he will not reject them. So, guys, this is the head of welfare um, OPM ministry. And... Um, she had to come here herself to look at the situation. Ma, what do you think about the situation? The situation is so pathetic. Fat. I've been crying in my heart ever since I entered here. I've, ne I've never seen a place like this. This is a pure shack. Even walking down from the gate to this place was outrageous. I almost fell down into the swamp that we met. It's so pathetic. When you look at the building, it's not as if they use good building good a good uh, zinc to surround the house it's old zinc these ones they sell after use and after use and after use is the kind of zinc they use here with some banners from different churches to surround their house i feel so much for them i think that this is like the most vulnerable family i've ever seen in my entire life in nigeria exactly subjecting little children to live in a condition like this it doesn't it is obnoxious Okay, um, since you'll be representing um, the general overseer of OPM, what are you guys, what do you people intend to do for them? Because it would be my desire to see that they don't ever live in a situation like this. Like I know daddy, you know, 
he is one man that cannot say this. In fact, he will cry if he says this. So the first thing we do, you know, we have a free hospital. We are going to take the children to hospital because the children are already looking for shock. And this is what we saw during the war. Not now. The kind of children I saw here today. They are already quite shocked. Nobody will believe that people like this are still exist. Still exist in this 21st century. In this 21st century, and we have houses, people are living around them. Some people don't even live in their houses anymore. There are people that have abandoned their houses, they are living in a hotel. They are building houses every day, and yet people are suffering like this. I'm telling you. So, we are going to pull them out of this shack, take the children to the hospital for examination, and know where to start from the hospital first. Because the children I saw here are really sick. And the kind of food they are giving to them, egg we see mixed with okra and onion, boy. And that's all. And the children are eating and crying. Even the children are not happy. They are not happy and there's no protein. They are not happy. There, there's no protein. And they eat only once a day. Okay. Once a day. And look at the 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 the, the huge garden they are eating. And that is once for a day. And even the girl that said she just finished um, GS3, she cannot express herself. If you watch her speak, she's not she's not able to express herself. So she has to go back to school. There'll be a placement for her. Her age doesn't matter. She can have she can start all over again. Maybe just to let's forget about her age. It's not her far, it's her where. Do you understand? So we'll take her back to school because we'll have free schools and some of the um, secondary schools that we are flated to. So she will go back to school. Her parents will get them a place to stay and maybe start off a business for the parents. Oh God, this is wonderful. Chai, how many churches in Nigeria can you can give people such opportunity? Ah, oh God of Nazareth, thank you so much. God bless OPM. In fact, like, I'm so happy hearing this. So you mean that these people, these families, will never ever see any reason to come back to living in this place? At all. Okay, so the general overseer of the OPM ministry would like to speak to you, right? Is he her? Yeah, yeah. That's Is he on call right now? Hello, Daddy. Hello, yeah, I'm here. Okay, sir. The girl is here, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Okay, I, I heard what happened to your family. And, uh, so, so, what's your name? I'm happiness, sir. How old are you? I'm 18, sir. So, uh, you said, where did you stop in school? I stopped in GSS 3. GSS 3? Yes, sir. And daddy, this girl is very beautiful, eh? And if you see where they are, these people are suffering. They are going through extreme poverty. I'm feeling like this is like the most vulnerable family in the whole of Nigeria that I've ever seen in my entire life. Ten people living in a very, very small room. Daddy, if you see this place, you, you, you cry. That's it, sir. So... You, 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 you have intention of, you want to go to school? Yes, sir. I want to go to school. So you want to complete your school? Yes, sir. Okay. Number one, you are going to complete your school. Yes, sir. I'm going to train you to finish secondary school. Then after that, I'll send you overseas to university. Jesus! Jesus! Oh my... <laughs> oh, oh my God! You are sending her outside the country. Thank you, sir. Jesus. And all her friends have been laughing at her. People have been avoiding her because they uh, nobody wants to be. Oh my god. You are leaving the country. Oh Jesus, Jesus. No, no, no. This is I feel like Christ. <laughs> no. Oh Jesus. Congratulations. 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 Oh daddy. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh my god. You're leaving the country. Happiness. Happiness. You're leaving the country. Oh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In fact, I don't even know what to say. Daddy, God bless you so much. He has ended the call. Oh, God. Ah, no, no, no. De- glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This was so fast. This was so fast, so fast, so fast. Ah, God. I'm so happy right now. Ah. Oh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh my! This was this was fast. She's leaving the country. She is. Got to prepare everything: passport, flight, everything, accommodation, everything, even feeding. You know they eat once a day. Hey. Jesus! Oh. Best scholarship feeding. 
Oh Jesus, bring that camera. Where is Happy? Is is he? Ha- Where's her name? Is he Happy? Happiness, come. Your name has finally found you. Oh, she's crying. Oh, come, come, come. Hey guys, so we are heading to the hospital right now. 